Welcome to Dover for the running of the Goodies 200. On the pole for today's race is Trey Rainey to the outside, second in point to Eli Bright. Third is Derek Bouchard, fourth is Anthony Rodriguez, and fifth is Jeff Bright, who won the last race actually at Talladega, which is looking to go two in a row. Your points leader coming into today, Dan Ban. He starts on the outside. I think that's about 14th as a car did not get going, I see. It is the 17th of Evan Rudd who blows up as the pace car will make a 20 to pit road. 30 laps at Dover, the one mile concrete oval in Dover, Delaware. As they come down the front stretch, Star will wa wave the green flag. There it is, green flag into the hour racing at Dover. Down the backstretch, Trey Rainey has gotten cleared. The battles for a second now. Derek Pichard and Eli Bright are side by side. The outside starts to work after a while here. So you have to hang tough up there. Try and keep as many spots as you can. Derek, oh, JT Hanley spots to the inside wall hard. And come back up. Oh, Josh Crash got him. John Gambit got him. Riley Spurley too. The caution is out. And they're racing back here. Trey Rainey has gotten out front. Anthony Rodriguez and Derek Bouchard are battling for a second. Then behind them, the Brights are also battling. And it looks like at the line, it's going to be Trey Rainey, of course, and Derek Bouchard will hold second. So let's see what happened. JT Hanley spun around in the 97, and then got clobbered by a few more cars. There's sometimes enough room for three wide. Then other times, you're trying to avoid the car off top, and it looks like JT was just a little bit lower. Racing Collins wasn't really ready for it. They just collided. JT Hanley got spun hard into the inside wall, comes right back up. Some are able to avoid it, like Jack Marshall, Levi Schoen, Josh Crash. Trying, he goes high, nowhere to go there. And then John Gamut and Riley Spurley Tube just get collected as innocent bystanders in this. So Trey Rainey let us back. And of course, they're going to stay out. And the 62 will lead us back to the green flag. Here we go. We'll go back around lap number seven. And no cars have actually retired from the race from that. And it's Trey Rainey, who is your race leader. Derek Bouchard in second. Third is Anthony Rodriguez. Jeff Bright's fourth. And fifth is Eli Bright. 6th is Jonathan Raines, 7th is Jake West, 8th is Jake Moss, 9th is the 92 of Tyler Lyman, and 10th is Griffin Lynn. As I see a car down low, it's Dan Bannon with the problem, your points leader. It doesn't look like he's smoking, but that, that doesn't mean anything. He could be blowing something up right now that's not causing smoke. I'll have to get a report on that if he comes off pit road or not. Pace car into pit road. Restart Trey Rainey out front. Eli Bright is back in fifth. That's second in points. With Dan Van having a problem, this could really help Eli Bright. So here they come down the front stretch. Green flag back into the air. I already see some shuffling wheel spin back there. The front three get away. Jeff Bright kind of spun his tires just a little bit. They race down the back stretch. Trey Rainey with the lead. And track is so huge here at Dover. Once you're out front for a few laps, the dirty air comes in and no one can really get you. As that was actually a pretty good run there for Derek Bouchard through the middle of the corner. Anthony Rodriguez is coming in the 10. Rodriguez won at Daytona. It's been a, a little bit of a bumpy ride since, but now he's up here in third. He could be bound for the lead by the end of this race. Jeff Bright's coming back up after that pretty slow restart for him. I really think we might see Rodriguez go to the bottom here before Derek Bouchard is able to make him with that 10 car. Uh, charging as the 5 behind him. Jeff Wright looks low just a little bit. Dan Ban has he stayed in the race? He has, but he's a lap down. So he's getting a caution really quickly here. And a restart with 110 to go. Get his lap back and then another caution. And there's... Oh! Close tire alignment. Sponge to the inside wall. And Griffin Lynn also involved. Oh, hard hit for Christian Merrick Jr. and Levi Shones. And now they're wrecking up ahead. The 92 tire lineman, the three of Anthony Wendler, the 09 for Racing Collins. The yellow will come out. And that will help Dan Band start on the inside for the three stars. Trey Rainey lets back. And let's see what happens with like Griffin Lynn. And oh, they're still right. Bandit hit! Oh my goodness. And he was in position to get back on the lead lap. And now he's going to be out of this race. Let's see what happens. See, this close through off the corner, I'm going to go to a different view here. They're three wide, and it looks like they're going to get together. Griffin Lynn kind of comes up into Lyman. They save it right there, and then Lyman just keeps coming down, it looks like, trying to save the car, possibly. 
They hit the wall hard, and then Lynn ends up with the worst of it, I would say. But then Lyman gets spun anyway. Christian Merrick Jr., nowhere to go. Same with Levi Shones, Jay Barker, Paul Minnick. But then it looks like the 92 might have gotten rear-ended by the 3, possibly. Or he just spun it on his own because he's down there in the apron. Yeah, trying to gather it up. And, yep, Anthony Wendler gets into the back of him. Brayson Collins has nowhere to go. Wendler off the ground. Barker able to continue on. And then Griffin Lynn is driving away from the scene. Or no, he's stopped there. Oh, he's going. And Dan Band's going to come in here and hit him. Oh my goodness. If I'm Dan Band there, I'm taking it easy. Because I've already taken the caution flag. And now he's going to be out of the race. And that's going to be a big play. For Eli Bright, fifth right now in the race. He could gain on Dan Bannon in the points. So it'll be Trey Rennie out front as we will go back green around halfway. We'll go back green lap before halfway on lap 15. The car's out. Dan Bannon, Griffin Lynn, Christian Merrick Jr., and Brayson Collins. We have 22 cars on the lead lap. Trey Rennie is out front. Second is Derek Bouchard. Third is Anthony Rodriguez. Fourth is Jeff Bright. Fifth, Eli Bright. Sixth is Jonathan Rain. Seventh, Jake West. Eighth is John West. Ninth is Stuart Grattan. And tenth is Jake Moss. That's your top ten. You got Tyler Lyman, Levi Shones to the inside. They are damaged cars. They were involved in that last wreck. So we'll see if they get going. And if nice. A car coming down pit road again. I don't know who that is this time. The pace car is in. Here we go. Restart on lap number 15 as they come down the strike. Green flag back into the air. This time Derek Bouchard spun his tires from second place. But the inside, of course, not going to be going because of the lap cars. So the outside's going to be the one that prevails. Who can get up high or stay down low or something? As the front five get cleared. It's the six of Palm Lake that's come down here. It's Trey Rain all by himself now because of that restart. Rain's trying to muscle his way past. The top five have gotten away. Then behind them is just a big pack trying to get by the lap cars. Levi Shones can move to the high side, get out of the way of Jonathan Rain's. Four. They they were halfway last time by. Now it's 14 to go at Dover. Trey Rainey has led every lap so far. He has not given up the lead. Behind them, they have finally gotten clear of the lap cars. The top 10 have anyway. And now here's second, third, and fourth trying to get a draft together and get up to Trey Rainey. See what they can do with it. 13 to go this time. See if we can stay green to the end or if we're going to have another caution is the question. to go this time and it's still Trey Rainey all by himself as these front four have pulled away from 5th, 6th, 7th then there's a battle for 8th with Jack Marshall and Jake Moss and Luke Rainey they're all 8th, uh, ninth, and 10th look at this Luke Rainey come to the bottom he might get to 8th right here from 10th to 8th possibly in one lap nope Jack Marshall had him That's, sometimes the top is just so big for you here Larry Bouchard Jr. coming Underneath Jake Moss, so problems for the 06 possibly. Not not as good now as look at these guys running three different lanes. Jeff Bright trying to get a run off the corner. He did just a little bit. It didn't help him though get to the inside of Anthony Rodriguez. But that was a really good move there by Bright going all the way up to the top, trying something different here. As they're catching the, the slow car, JT Hanley with 10 laps to go. Where's Trey Rainey go? He goes to the high side. Way up high. Let's go out Derek Bouchard to the inside. But Bouchard is to slow. Jeff Wright's going to have to slow. And Anthony Rodriguez will get by. Eli Bright will go around the outside. These guys are going to have to go to the inside of JT Hanley. And now that that that's another question. Will they catch more lap traffic? Because remember, the 92 and 32 were slow. Well, the 92 is kind of hung on with the 32 to the, to the back of this pack. So I think that's the last lap car we would see, unless JT Hanley is that slow and he comes back around again. Eight laps to go, and Trey Rainey held off a charge from Derek Bouchard. Anthony Rodriguez is able to gain two positions from that process. He's up to second. Look at he went a little bit lower than Trey and gained a little bit on that time. And we've been talking about drivers winning in all four series. 
Trey Rainey can't do it at this moment because he's only won in the Truck Series. And if he wins this one, he'd still have to win the Target and Gatorade Cup Series. But uh, you got Eli, Eli Bright back here in fifth. If he wins, he would just have to win the Target Series. Jeff Bright just has to win in the Truck Series. You have Jim Gamma in this race, who just has to win the Truck Series. Riley Spray in this race, just has to win the Truck Series. As they come to the line, six to go this time, and the front four are in a pack. They're wrecking there! The caution will come out, this will be a late race restart! I think it's going to be one left to go when we get the green flag. Who leads us back? Trey Rainey has been going up the track just a little bit. He holds it down to the bottom this time, and he will lead them back to the yellow. But problems on the front stretch in the middle of the pack. JT Hanley with a horrible collision. Also, Anthony Wendler. Let's see what happens. This is one thing that does not work at Dover. Four wide off of turn number four. And... Ooh, Larry Shaw Jr. forced uh, Luke Rainey up into Jack Marshall and Jake West. They go around it. They hit and spin. Luke Rainey spins across the line and gets it going straight again. Look at that. A 360 spin. He has an onboard camera. We'll look at it. And then these guys slide back up, and I'm assuming the 30 is going to get hit by the 97 or something like that. Yep, JT Hanley. Oh, that's a hard hit. It flips Larry Bouchard Jr. over. Anthony Wendler comes in and hits JT. My, oh, my. What a mess. Let's look at that in real time, at least the uh, 30 car flip. You see, spin up the track, spin up the track. JT just nails him. John Gamut, I don't know how he got through that, but he just narrowly escaped being in that. It's gone for Luke Rainey's. He did his 360, kept on going. And he'll be uh, set up in the top 10, I believe, for this final restart. That's called holding the brakes, getting it going at the right time. That, that that takes a lot to do, and he did it. Meanwhile, his brother Trey Rainey is leading this race, and he will be your race leader with the restart, which I believe it's going to be one lap to go. Here it is, one lap to decide the Goodies 200 at Dover. Who wins it? The car's out because of that. Remember, Paul May came down pit road, had a piston go bad. JT Hanley is out. Anthony Wendler's out. Larry Bouchard Jr. is out. So we have 18 cars in the lead lap and 20 left in the race. Trey Rainey is out front. Can you hold on and win? In second, it is Anthony Rodriguez. Third is Derek Bouchard. Fourth is Jeff Bright. Fifth is Eli Bright. Sixth is Jonathan Rain. Seventh is Luke Rainey. Eighth is Riley Spurley Tube. Ninth is Jake Moss. Tenth is John West. 11th is Jim Gambit, 12th is Josh Crash, 13th is Graham Butler, 14th is Stuart Grant, 15th Jack Marshall, 16th John Gambit, 17th is Jake West, 18th Jay Barker, 19th Levi Shones, 20th is Tyler Lyman. As the pace car will make its left hand turn to pit road, the white and green flag will be out together here at Dover. Can Trey Rainey hold on? He's led all 28 laps, make it 29 once he crossed the line. Can he lead the last one is the question. As they come down, you see the, the white flag down there and the green flag will be waved in the air. Green flag and white flag out at the same time. One more lap to go at Dover in the Goodies 200. And Trey Rainey with an awesome restart there. He got away. Now, now it might just be a battle for positions behind, but they are all single files. They hit the back stretch into turn three this time. Trey Rainey all by himself. He goes off the track a little bit. Anthony Rodriguez is coming. But off of four, here they come to the line. Trey Rainey will win at Dover. Oh my goodness, Anthony Rodriguez with the last lap charge. It didn't work for him though, but it was close. And you think if there's one more lap, Rodriguez will have won this race. Look at it from a different angle. You see, Rod Trey Rainey goes off the track a little bit. Rodriguez stays in the gas. He goes off the track a little bit. He almost gets into Trey Rainey staying in the gas. Checkered flag waving. And if Rodriguez didn't have to possibly move over to not hit Trey Rainey, he could have won this race. Look at that. By about three-fourths of a car length, Trey Rainey wins the Goodies 200 at Dover. Let's check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Goodies 200 at Dover. There were three caution flags for 12 laps, and only one driver led this race, and that was Trey Rainey, who started on pole, led all 30 laps, dominated the race, and ended up winning the race. Second, Anthony Rodriguez, who made a last lap charge it did not work if there's one more lap he possibly will have won the race third Derek Bouchard fourth Jeff Bright fifth Eli Bright who closes in on that points lead cuts that points lead on Dan Ban sixth Jonathan Reigns seventh Luke Rainey after doing a 360 get kept going straight I'm sure he'll be happy about that eighth Riley Spray with tube ninth is Jake Moss and tenth is John West so there's your top 20 in the points or top 20 in the field excuse me we're not in the points yet uh 20 cars end up finishing the race 18 were on the lead lap 
as a wild Dover race. We saw some really big wrecks. We saw Larry Bouchard Jr. go tumbling after getting hit by JT Hanley. Uh, Dan Ben, who was your point there coming into today, he uh, had to pit for what we're hearing a flat tire. Came down pit road, he got a lap down. The caution came out. He was going to be starting on the inside to try and get his lap back, and he runs into the back of the 99 and ends up costing him the chance to get the lap back. He finishes dead last. All right, now let's go to the point standings. Here are the point standings after Dover. As you can see, it's Dan Band still on top, but now it's only by 74 points. That was his first DNF of the season. Uh, second, Eli Bright. Luke Rain moves all the way up to third. He is definitely a championship contender this season. Same with Anthony Rodriguez in fourth, and Brandon Butler is fifth. Jeff Rice moved his way up, his, his way up to sixth after a few uh, good runs. Seventh, Josh Crash. Eighth is Trey Rainey with that win. Ninth is Anthony Wendler, and tenth is Griffin Lynn. So there's your shot 20s where you're approaching the halfway mark of this season. Eight races down, 12 more to go. Sure to be an exciting one. As I think Trey Rainey has led the most laps of 31, and in fact, 30 of those came from this race at Dover. And from what we could see, only two cars have finished on the lead lap every time, and that is Jim Gammon in the 22 and John West in the 02, as those are the only two to finish on the lead lap every single race. And the guy who just lost it this time was uh, the 32 of Levi Shones. It's 26 down there in points. He uh, has completed all but one lap, and that was this lap at Dover. So the next race will be the Pocono 150 at Pocono. See you guys then.